In this demonstration, we will examine how to create on the Palo Alto Networks firewall a self-signed certificate, a certificate profile, and use certificate-based authentication for the Palo Alto Networks firewall web-based interface. But before we begin, why use certificate-based authentication? Well, password-based authentication is vulnerable to attacks such as social engineering, phishing, man-in-the-middle attacks. This could enable an attacker to authenticate as the victim and access information the victim has been granted permissions to. Certificates are issued by a certificate authority, which could be a self-signed certificate or a third-party provider. Because certificates use asymmetric encryption, the certificate will not reveal any secret data. So, an attacker cannot learn any information of value to be used for unauthorized access. So let's begin. First, let's create a Certificate Authority Certificate. To do so, select the Device tab. Under Certificates, click on Generate. Here, we'll define the certificate name as well as the common name, and we'll be sure to select Certificate Authority. Also, we'll define the certificate attributes that we wish to accompany the certificate. Once the properties have been properly filled in, go ahead and click on Generate. After selecting Generate, you'll notice that you now have a self-signed certificate. Now let's create the Certificate Profile. Under the Device tab, selecting Certificate Profile, here we'll select Add. The properties that will be filled in will be the name of the profile itself, as well as the Username field, which in this case I'll use the subject and CA certificates. By selecting add, I'm going to select the certificate that I just created. And once again, I'll say okay. Now I've created my client certificate profile. Next, I'll set my client certificate profile for my authentication. To do so, by selecting my device, setup, under management, for authentication settings, I'll select the gear, and now I'll define the certificate profile that will be used for authentication purposes. Web off. Also, my failed attempts, as well as the lockout duration. And I'll select OK. Now I'll create an administrator with the client certificate authentication. To do so, under device, for my administrators, I'm going to add my administrator. I'll define the name of the local administrator and select Use Only Client Certificate Authentication. And I'll select OK. Now I will create the client certificate for the newly created administrator here by going to Device, Certificates, I'll select Generate. Now I will create the client certificate for the administrator I just created by the name of Kenny A. To do so, I'll select Device, Certificates, and Generate. Here I'll define my certificate name. as well as the common name, which is the name of the administrator I just created, case sensitive, and my certificate, as well as certificate attributes. Once I've completed my certificate properties, I'll click on Generate to create the certificate. Now I will export Kenny A's Administrator's Client Certificate so the certificate can be imported into Kenny A's browser. To do so, by selecting Kenny A's Admin Cert, I'll select Export. Here I'll use the file format of PKCS12 and I'll define a passphrase.
and now I'll perform a commit so my configurations that are in the candidate config can be per, can be added to the running config. Now that I configured and enabled certificate-based authentication to the web interface of the Palo Alto Networks firewall, I have to import the certificate to my browser for proper authentication. To do so from my browser page, I'll select my tools, internet options, content, certificates. Here I'll select import and the wizard will guide my steps to identify the location of my certificate. Here I'll browse to the appropriate folder, locate the certif certificate, and type in the passphrase that I provided for the certificate. And now, by selecting finish, the import is successful. So now I will attempt to authenticate to my Palo Alto Networks firewall. Now for my browser, I'll type in my IP address for my firewall. And a confirmation of my certificate will be provided to me through my browser for Windows Security. I will click on OK. And because I'm using a self-signed certificate, I'll select continue to this website and confirm my certificate. And now you'll notice I'm logging in as Kenny A to my Palo Alto Networks web-based user interface. You will also notice that I have not been prompted for a user ID or password. So now by selecting login, I now have access to my web-based administrative interface. In this demonstration, you have seen how to create a certificate on the Palo Alto Networks firewall, creation of a certificate profile, and use certificate-based authentication for the Palo Alto Networks firewall web-based interface.